Hi everyone, it's me Moonlight Guidance. This is a very safe space where you are always very welcome. I'm going to do a reading for you today and this is for all star signs. So whatever star sign you are, I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you which I'm going to deliver to you, okay? So we're going to have a look and see what's coming through and also happy holidays everyone. Happy holidays. I should have worn my festive jumper now that I think about it. Okay, anyways. So um, yeah, I really hope I can help you um, and let's take a look, okay? Oh wow, <laughs> justice with the six of pentacles. Look at that, double scales energy, right? You got two scales, both on the uh, left-hand side there, which I think is interesting. Left-hand side to each of those people. I just thought I'd mention that, you know, because some people might be like, well, technically it's on the right-hand side, well, it's on their left-hand side, <laughs> okay. And I feel like the left side, it, it matters here. There's something here about the left-hand side. Even if you look here as well, both of these cards, the main character, should I say, is um, a lot more on the left-hand side as well. So. Hmm. I do feel like there's a person here that you have a liking towards, okay? And this person is someone who ticks a lot of your boxes. You feel like they are kind, they are caring, they have good morals, good values, um, they have a good understanding of things, they're also quite smart as well. However, I also do believe as well um, in many ways that uh, this person can get quite, um, what's the word? They they can become quite colourful quite quickly. And what I mean by that is um, they've been through a lot of trauma, okay? Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords came out with the Sun, okay? This person likes compliments. They like it when they are wanted and when they are needed and when somebody is um, really being you know, very good to them. And that's something that I see in you. I see that you are a very balanced person, but you also like to make people feel good. You're very empathic. You're very kind. You're very caring. You're very understanding. You are very respectful. You always try to be the best version of yourself um, to others and for others, because you always want to be treated in the way that you treat others. Does that make sense? Like it's, it's a very normal human thing. It's not something bad that I'm describing about you at all. Like you want to be loved and you want to be respected and you want to be treated nicely because at the end of the day, that's also how you treat other people. And so I really feel here that you liking this particular person that has been traumatized, that has been hurt, but still has some good character characteristics otherwise, um, it really, really makes them come alive. It makes them feel like they can conquer the world. They feel like they can be on top of, on top of a horse. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically what I'm trying to say is it's kind of gives them pride. Okay. It kind of boosts their ego. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's, that's the thing here is that you, you always want to give to others what others give to you. And it's interesting. I don't know where this reading's really going, so let's see where it's going, okay? Because it's a reading. At the end of the day, the cards tell quite a strong story. There you go. You make them feel on top of the world. You make them feel like they can do anything, okay? You literally give them so much positivity and confidence. And that's so beautiful. Do you know how rare it is for people these days to make other people feel good? I know that's probably not something I should say, but there are a lot of people these days that are very rude. They only care about themselves. And... It, it is rare, you know, a lot of people are selfish, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's okay to be selfish for yourself, you know, and to take care of yourself, but there's an excess, you know, to a point where it becomes rude and not nice. And I have to say, like, you are a really kind, sweet person. And I think that I want to say to you, that's such a lovely thing. And don't change yourself, you know, but it also doesn't mean like, oh, let people walk all over you, you know, it's always a balance, it's always a moderation, which I think you have, you know, justice and the six of pentacles is all about balance. And what I'm trying to say here is that this person is someone that really is inspired by you. Okay, so whether this is someone romantic, whether it's someone that you've known for a while, your words mean so much to them. And they've been through a lot of pain and a lot of sadness, but that also doesn't mean that you have to constantly feed them these words. It also doesn't mean that you constantly have to bend over to their will and their wishes. And the reason I say that is because, remember, it boosts their ego. It does build some pride in them. And an excess of anything is always going to be toxic and poison. 
poisonous, okay? So what I think here is always do it in moderation because you may find, okay, that by you boosting their ego, they start to go cold on you, okay? They start to feel like they can conquer the world and they can go traveling and they can do this and then they don't have enough time for you. They're starting to feel more confident in other areas of their life so they have more work meetings. They gain more opportunities in their work life. They have more events to go to, more things to do, right? Boosting their ego gives them more, okay? It gives them more. And that can actually turn you off as well. That's something that I actually do see here. It's exactly what I'm seeing here. Oh my gosh, look at this right? You go from feeling like, oh my God, like I love this person to suddenly feeling like, why are they turning their back on me? Now, for some of you, this could have already happened, right? You may have found that, you know, things were going well between you both and then you were being really nice to them and kind to them and you being super like, you know, proactive towards them. And then all of a sudden they go cold on you and you're like, what? How? Hello? 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 <laughs> You may have been blocked by this person, ghosted by this person. They could have just gone hot and cold on you, okay? But what I'm trying to say here is that there's a bit of an ego situation that is happening here, okay? Where essentially your words have the potential to really boost their ego to the point where they suddenly become busy with 700 other things. But the positive thing here is that they're going to go through an ego death, okay? As much as they have this ego, it will fall just as much because guess what? When you're not feeding their ego, nobody else is. When you're not feeding their ego, they're not getting those opportunities. So what I'm basically trying to say here is the minute you stop feeding this person's ego and you feed your own, for example, you know, and you take care of yourself, you love yourself, you put yourself. Um, remember, ego is um, one of those things where we talk about it in excess, right? So when I say like feed your own ego, I'm not saying become egotistical. What I'm saying is that everybody has an ego, right? Every, every single person on this planet has an ego. What we call an ego by saying like, oh, that person has an ego is basically an ego in excess. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to say is obviously to a healthy extent, look after yourself and your ego and things like that. But, um, this person has an excess of ego. Okay. So what I'm basically trying to say is that the minute you stop feeding their ego, you stop kind of bending over, like always trying to be nice to this person, which I understand, like you always try to be nice to a person and it's a good thing to be nice to people. But remember, I always said in balance and in moderation, never to the point where it's bothering you, right? To such an extent. The minute you stop doing all of that, other people don't really do as much towards them, okay? Like their work opportunities are not as much because you boost you boosted their ego, not other things, not other people. It's your energy that gave them that boost so that they could then put their energy into other things. And those other things will then start to come together. The minute you take away your energy, those other things are not really happening for them. That's really interesting. And that causes an ego death. Okay, so basically what that means is you constantly doing all of that for them is what's providing those opportunities for them. However, with those opportunities, they then start to ignore you, okay? What I'm trying to say here is do things in moderation and balance, let them come forward towards you, let them be proactive towards you, but let them also prove themselves to you. Don't constantly be the one doing everything, if that makes sense. I think that's really important and they will go through an ego death. What I feel here is obviously like do things in moderation, like put yourself in a place where you are not doing it all um, because Sometimes you might be feeling like it's your responsibility to give them that energy, to do all of that, to be there for them constantly. It's actually not your responsibility, okay? What is your responsibility is to take care of yourself because that's exactly what we see here, okay? The tower literally shows a crumbling um, and that's an ego death that happens. Now, that's actually very important for them so that they can actually realize your worth and value in their life because the truth of the matter here is that they can't always recognize that you're the one that's inspiring them, right? And you're the one that's giving them these opportunities. They will always think that all these other opportunities come because I'm just working hard towards it. What they don't realize is that it's actually part of your energy that is allowing those opportunities in their life to come your way. And the thing is, the more they turn their back on you because you're 
doing so much for them, giving them so much, whether it's words or actual things, the more they turn their back on you. And that's not great, right? That's not good. So what I'm basically trying to say here is do everything in moderation. Let them come to you. Let them prove themselves to you. Don't always be the one doing everything. It's a very confusing reading. And I feel like some of you might be confused in regards to it, you know, um, but if you ever have, you know, personal questions, I always do personal tarot readings, which are the paid readings, of course, um, but they are always available on my website, um, which is shopmoonlikeguidance.com. And actually there's services on there as well for things like, um, you know, even break no contact, manifest a specific person for love, money, marriage, career, healing, beauty, business, success, black magic, energy, removal, protection, rituals. All of these rituals work with healing and creating detachment, which then naturally allows the intention to take place. It does not use magic because magic is dangerous and it's karmic. I'm not going to put you in that situation. I'm certainly not going to put myself in that situation. Um, so it essentially helps with working in that way. And there's also intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with as well, which um, consist of bracelets, necklaces, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow or keep around you, sage bundles, candles, teas, and so much more. Thousands of five-star reviews on those items are at the bottom of my website. So everything, you know, again, is linked down below and on shop Moon like guidance.com. So my moral of the story here is that whoever this person is that has gained a lot of ego from, you know, your constant like words and affection and the things that you're doing is going to go through an ego death. And then they will actually realize that, oh my God, you are the gemstone that I need to actually take care of. Okay. That's basically what's going to happen. And they will be more proactive towards you because the more you constantly feed their ego, the more they turn their back on you. And that's going to make you really resent them. Okay. Like when I say that you will resent that, you really will, because you will think to yourself, I'm the one that's giving you these words of affirmation. I'm the one that's being there for you. And you're literally turning your back on me and you will not feel good about that, okay? In any way, shape or form. So instead of doing that, let them come to you. Let them progress towards you. Of course, be nice to them, right? It's balance. Be nice to them, but let them be the one that's also progressing towards you, making a move towards you, being there for you. That is so incredibly, incredibly important because they do need to go through that sort of ego death to properly realize what they have in front of themselves, which sometimes they're very delulu towards, okay? They can be very delusional towards that. Oh, we have something here in regards to your birthday. So whether it's something that's gone, whether it's something that's coming, whether there's a plan that's being made, um, there's something here in regards to that. And it will become a lot more clear as your birthday draw draws forward. Um, we also have here as well, I fear being alone. And that's definitely something that they fear, right? They fear being alone. And so they also like to fill their time up with like 700 million things as well. It's, it's something that they like doing to not feel as alone, but they do actually feel very alone. So if you see on social media that they're like going out and doing 700 different things, it's because they actually fear being alone. It's the opposite. Okay. So this is your reading. Um, and your affirmation for this reading is less fear more love, okay? Which means also bringing that love towards yourself. Really, really important. Um, and if you find it really hard to detach and put yourself first, I have lots of rituals on my website as well, which really helps again with healing, detachment, putting yourself first as well, creating that balance. And um, there's also a justice ritual on there as well, if anyone is ever interested in that. Um, but uh, yeah, all the rituals, items, all the information is always down below. If this resonates with you, or if you like it, remember to comment down below the affirmation, less fear, more love. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I also have TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every day. It's moonlight.guidance on Instagram, Moonlight Guidance on TikTok. I hope to see you there if you want to be there. They are free readings that I post and I'll see you all very soon.